Good morning, students. Uh, my name is Dr. Vishwam. I'm the course coordinator for this particular course, Basics of Semiconductors. Apart from myself, Mr. K. P. Vinay, Mr. G. Mishra, Mr. K. Arvind are the associate faculty members for this particular course. For any regarding the materials, uh, for any doubt clarification, you can contact, you can drop down an email to vishwam.thalloju.edu. And the course timings for this particular uh, uh, this one is venue is J211 and the course time is from 9.30 hours to the 10.30 hours from Monday to Thursday. Coming back to the particular course, the basis of semiconductors, the course code for this particular topic is WBSC909. The course type is a code and category comes under physics. The minimum, uh, the this course targeted for this particular uh, group, BSC third year students, and B second semester and B tech second semester students. The minimum thing required to understand this particular course is type of materials like solids, insulators, and semiconductors, the concept of doping, and the conductivity uh, nature. For industry support, this course is targeted for the industry oriented work. So, the experimental physics has the most striking impact on the industry wherever the instruments are used. The industries like electronics, telecommunications, and instrumentation will specially recognize this particular course. So, when coming back to the introduction to the course, this course introduces basic concepts of quantum theory of solids and present theory describing the carrier behavior in semiconductors, and also it balances the fundamental projects with applications to semiconductors and other electronic devices. The course objective for this is this is specialized, specially designed to deep dive into the fundamentals of electronic devices that form the backbone of current, present integrated circuit technology. You will gain valuable experience in semiconductor physics like PN junction diode, the metal semiconductor contacts, the bipole the junction transistors, the metal oxide semiconductors, and some of the materials like optically active materials like LED and laser diodes. So at the end of this course, the students are in a position to understand the phenomenon of electronic conduction in the semiconducting material and the basic electronic devices including PN junction, metal semiconductors and BJT and how the field effect transistors are going to be worked and we can know the VA characteristics and also the performance of the stability of the basic electronic devices with respect to the temperature and the concentration we can evaluate and finally identify the type of semiconductor like uh, n-type materials or p-type materials that can be identified from the respect to experiment like Hall effect. The course content involves the basics, the first two lines involves the basics what you study in the intermediate, what do you mean by intrinsic semiconductors and extrinsic semiconductor, the mechanism of conduction in the intrinsic as well as uh, extrinsic semiconductor with respect to the doping and temperature and how the carrier concentration like a Fermi level is varying with respect to the temperature and the conduction like n-type materials and p-type materials and we are discussing about the direct band gap and indirect band gap materials in this particular this one and also we are we are drawing the VA characteristics and we are understanding the VA characteristic of a photodiode, light emitting diode, solar cell and tunnel diode and some of the some uh, applications like organic light emitting semiconductor which are going to be more prominent in the present day electronic industry. The reference works for this particular topics like uh, fundamentals of semiconductor physics, the corresponding PDF copy is there, you can download from this and fundamentals of semiconductor physics and materials processed by Peter Yu that also you can download from here and semiconductor physics and Dave May designed by Umesh Mishra, Jasper Singh and you can download the content from this and also i'm referring to some of the web content courses also that can be uploaded in the recently that can be uploaded by next in the upcoming classes so the corresponding video materials for this particular topic are taken from the swayam prabha you can able to log in onto the system and you can download the content from this particular website as well as the doping of semiconductors from this particular link Similarly, I can download material from, you can download the material from National Digital Library, the semiconductors and Hall effect. Coming back to the, let's see what are the expert electronic gadgets that we are using in the present day market. Let me have one look regarding this. So we started with the, generally we started with the semiconductor diode. So this is a mapping junction diode, you can see earlier. Now the present technology is completely changed. So, in the transistors you have seen base emitter collector, you have might have idea in intermediate. 
so these transistors in a semi and especially in the sim card there are billion number of transistors which are there in the side which can act like a, a gates which can store the information zero and one similarly this is the optically active materials like a laser diode then when the carriers are recombined the pn material it generates the light that type of things we can understand we can listen the class which listen from the classroom like laser diode and the led diode so how they are differ we can able to know in the classroom similarly uh, a material which can capture the solar energy that can be converted into the electric current is a major concern for the present day so what type of materials can we be able to use in uh, to capture maximum amount of the light once again we are coming back to the semiconductors so in this case we are looking uh, previous olden days people used to uh, observe about the graph silicon and germanium at present we are looking for a graphene as a semiconducting material which can work like a semiconductor the properties better than the silicon and germanium which can capture maximum of the light that may be usable for conversion of light which has a maximum efficiency and let us go with the nowadays every laptop or anything they are using for our ssd drive solid state drive which can store the maximum amount of the information so depends upon the material categorization when coming to the nano materials there we are using the information which can store the information we're looking for solid state drive which is also a semiconducting material now present day the samsung introduces say this complete organic light emitting diode and uh, avalanche metal of uh, <coughs> metal oxide light emitting diodes which can acts like a, a liquid which can generate the light using this so this type of material or the category of material that we are discussing in the classroom apart from this nowadays we are looking so much about the space electronic devices where we can use the solid state materials which can give more properties which can get show the better properties when coming to the nano level that can be observed that can be seen in the solid state electronic devices so regarding this particular topic regarding the topics and everything we'll discuss in detail in the classroom by uh, by moocs as well as the moodle and more discussion forum so that at the end of the course everyone has to satisfy the uh, concept as well as the course content thank you